Hi, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I'm going to take you through Azure App Service building blocks. The most fundamental building block of Azure App Service is App Service Plan or App Service Environment. So basically, there are two types of hosting environments within App Service, App Service Plan and App Service Environment. App Service Environment is a more sophisticated version of App Service Plan and comes with a lot more features when compared to App Service Plan. And within this app service plan or app service environment, you can host number of apps. Basically, you can host web applications, you can host web jobs, i.e. in other words, batches, you can host APIs, and you can host mobile backend services that can be consumed from your mobile front end. And also you can host Azure functions. Apart from these apps that are part of app service plan, there are other related services that are closely related to these apps within App Service Plan. Those related services are Notification Hub, which you can use to push notifications into mobile devices. You can use mobile engagement to carry out mobile analytics, for example, user engagement and all those stuff. And you can integrate Azure Search into your web applications. And you can use media services. If you want to develop something like YouTube, then you can take advantage of media services. Apart from these related services, there is one more service, which is very important when it comes to APIs, which is API management. API management can act as a wrapper around your API apps when you are exposing those APIs to the outside world. It comes with a lot of features such as throttling, security and all those stuff. And it will be really useful if you want to commoditize your APIs and sell it to the outside world. Okay. Now, in general, you will have some apps within App Service Plan and also you have some apps that are installed on your virtual machines and also you will have some apps that are in your on-premises network. All these apps that are held in three different locations need to communicate with each other to deliver a meaningful business process, isn't it? So to enable communication between apps in App Service Plan and apps installed on virtual machines within virtual network, there are two ways you can do it. One way is to establish point to site VPN between apps in App Service Plan and virtual network, via which the apps can communicate to each other. And the second way is if you have App Service environment, because app service environment itself will get deployed into a virtual network, the apps within that app service environment can seamlessly communicate with the apps installed on virtual machines within virtual network. Okay. So these are the two ways that you can achieve this communication. And there are two ways that you can enable communication between apps in app service plan and apps hosted in your on-premises network. One way is to establish site-to-site -site VPN between virtual network and on-premises network. In that way, an app in App Service Plan can communicate via point-to-site VPN and via virtual network and via site-to-site -site VPN with an app hosted in on-premises network. Okay, that is one way. In case if you don't want to go through that route, there is one more way, which is hybrid connections. You can establish a hybrid connection between on-premises network and App Service Plan through which an app in App Service Plan can communicate with an application hosted in on-premises network. Okay, now we need to scale App Service Plan according to the incoming load, right? In order to achieve that, you can use automation and auto scaling. Using auto scaling, you can scale in or scale out and using automation, you can scale up or scale down. So with the combination of automation and auto scaling, you will be able to scale your app service plan according to the load on your apps hosted in that app service plan. And also in terms of providing performance and high availability, you can use content distribution network and traffic manager. Content distribution network will be mainly used if you need to deliver the content with optimum performance. So for example, if you are hosted your website in Australia and you have some customers in Europe, and if you want to deliver this content effectively, with minimum latency to the customers in Europe, then you can achieve that using content distribution network. And with traffic manager, you will be able to deliver applications that are resilient to data center failures. 
basically a traffic manager can distribute the load across regions for example north europe and west europe in case north europe is down then the traffic manager will automatically route all the traffic to west europe okay and also one important thing that you need to keep in mind is you should always take backup the content of your applications for that purpose you can use app service backup and finally there are two important things first one is monitoring and the second one is security in terms of monitoring there are a lot of features available first one is app service diagnostics using which you can view diagnostics information and action on any issues and much more sophisticated version of service that is available in order to monitor your apps in app service plan is application insights basically you can use application insights to monitor different metrics associated with your web apps mobile apps and all those stuff and take corrective actions and finally it's not all about monitoring you need to get alerted when something goes wrong for that purpose you can use alerts and in terms of securing apps in your app service plan you can use ssl certificates in order to encrypt the data in transit and you can use active directory in order to set up authentication by the way it's not only active directory you can use number of identity providers like facebook google twitter and all those providers you can use in order to integrate with your web app very easily and finally you have azure key vault which you can use to store important connection strings or secrets and in your app you can able to create a service identity for your app and using that service identity you will be able to interact with key vault and fetch the secrets use those secrets in order to interact with different services so this is the landscape of azure app service and all other related services and features associated with it throughout this course i'm going to take you through each one of them one by one in very detail